Wagoneer. Oh my gosh. See that Wagoneer, Kai? That is beautiful. Daddy wants one of those. Oh my word, it is. Holy cow, look at that. Coffee, thank you, Hunter. Coffee. Now I have two hands. Come on, guy. My mom got this new mug from a friend and it looks like a camera lens, so I asked her if I could use it because it looks really cool. But I actually hate drinking out of it. Thanks for the mug, looks super cool. I'm gonna get a regular mug now. So, up to this point, I've been using my phone, so sorry if the audio sounded weird, but now I'm actually using the Canon mic I have. I usually use this mic, and it's my main mic. It's a great little mic, the little Rode mini mic, but this mic is actually supposed to be better, so hopefully this will have better audio. I'm going to try to start using this one from now on if I can, because it should be getting better audio, but uh, tell me what you guys think. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll decide for myself what I think of it, but submitted a request in the past for uh, some information regarding a more affordable health insurance policy. This is a follow-up and we'd love to hop on the call. To I didn't even have a phone in 2012 or 11 or whatever. No, I didn't. I keep getting spam calls from whoever. Hello? I'm looking for Eloisa. Yeah, that's not me. Sorry. Okay. Uh... I rest my case knife, got these boxes, just read it, fix the Jeep PCM, double wrap, okay, it's triple wrap, this is like opening a prank present from someone, this is the plug for the PCM, um, I actually don't know if this is the right one, I assume it is, the plug is right, I'm not sure if the wires are the same. Um, I'm just gonna have to hope they are. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to rewire everything, but I mean, I have to take every single one of those wires on my Jeep and I have to solder, the, solder them together, wrap it up, and it, it's gonna be fun, but at least I'll know it'll fix the problems. This is for the uh, crankshaft position sensor. There's this like little plastic cover that just keeps dust and dirt out and I didn't have it, but it also helps make sure it stays aligned. So I got that, it was like four bucks. Oh, gotcha. All right, I got three bags of these. These are what broke on the Jeep. Um, this actually popped off my front drive shaft and then it whipped around and hit the rest of it. So I made sure to buy three sets of these that way I can replace it and not have to worry about them. There's three of those in there and that's all that's in there. Let's try to slice the cardboard. Seriously, holy crud. Okay. Hinges, brackets, cables, the brackets for the cables, nuts, bolts, and screws, and the instructions. This is all the stuff I need to do a CJ7 tailgate conversion, but I don't have the actual CJ7 tailgate, so I still need to find one, but that's, you know, on the list. I have so many other things to do, so while I'm looking for one, I'm trying not to spend more than $100. Oh, sweet. Oh, they're silver. I thought they were gonna be gold. The door pins, because the stupid door pin came out of my door after the professional supposedly fixed it. Somehow he's not official yet. How? Look at this, he's not official yet. He's one of the he best characters Literally celebrities get made an official before they even done anything. I know. 
My brother just showed me that Parker from Liv and Maddie is on TikTok now. I don't know the actor's name. Let's look it up. Liv and Maddie cast. Okay, so Ten Tenzing Norgay Trainer? Tenzing Norgay Trainer. We're just gonna call him Parker from Liv and Maddie. Apparently he's on TikTok and somehow he's not TikTok famous. If you never watched the show Liv and Maddie, I don't know what you're doing. That's one of it was like the last good show on Disney Channel. It's actually a great show. We got Summit Racing, your shipping is on point. Like, good job because I forgot. I got my transfer case linkage right there. The harmonic balancer was going out on the Cherokee. This like rubber seal around it actually like dried up and came out and it made the whole thing disconnect from itself. Well, I was looking on the uh, Wrangler and I noticed that it's starting to wear around the edge on there and I really don't want to have to deal with that. Going for a Casey Neistat look, what do you think? Nailed it. Think I nailed it? It's just the camera and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and the glasses. Yeah. Yeah. If I That stinks. Usually when the Jeep has a starting issue, it's, you know, it, you know, an hour later it'll start fine. And then after it sits for a while, it'll usually start. Well, it's been sitting for like a week now and it, I haven't driven it since Monday last week. So it's literally been a week, but. On the other hand, that just goes to show how much of a problem I have. The stupid thing won't start. So I need to fix it. There's a lot of problems I need to fix, but that's like the number one. If I don't have a Jeep that starts, I can't do anything. So, my theory is that those, those little like prong looking things, I forget what they're called, the little thing I'm gonna have to solder onto the computer, I think that they, they've already been replaced before, What they've been hissing, and usually that's just a common problem they have, but if you're having a starting issue, it could be a sign that they're going bad. Um, I think the connection is just another part of the problem, but either way, I'm going to fix them both and hopefully that'll fix the problem. If it doesn't fix the problem, I have no idea. Other than that, there's still a couple things I need to work on. The paint could use some touching up. I did the hood before I did any other part of the Jeep and the rest of the Jeep's pretty much okay, but there are some spots I would like to touch up. Um, the windshield needs replaced. The door still needs a line. That door pin still needs replaced. What else is there? There's other problems. My steering is still kind of off. I haven't figured out what's up with that. There's a lot of work that needs done to the Jeep and I was gonna just try to knock it out one thing at a time. My plan was to get it in the backyard. That's why I have the whole thing opened up, but it won't start. And so if I can't get it to get in the backyard, I'm gonna have to figure it out here. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'm just gonna pull the PCM out here, fix it, put it back in, see if it'll start. If it does, I'll be good to moving on to step two. If not, I'll have to rewire the whole thing here which would really stink, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I forgot to mention, I started working on that Jeep Lego thing. The tires are way too small, these stupid things. So I had these ones, but I don't have a full set. But unfortunately, I just don't exactly have the parts. You can see how choppy that looks. I mean, I had some good things in theory. I already ripped my whole house apart. I think no matter what I do, I just don't have the dedication that I used to or even the determination to actually make something like this when it's starting to look like this. So I'm probably just gonna ditch this project. Plus, I feel like my room's already a mess again. And this dog keeps barking at me. What do you want, dog? What? Thank you. Of course, when I was opening all those packages, I didn't take into consideration at all the possibility that they would have, you know, the coronavirus germ on it. So I may or may not die in the next, how long? Okay, well I looked it up and I have no idea how long it would take for the coronavirus to kill you. We're just gonna say if I'm still alive in two weeks, it didn't kill me. Well, I have nothing else to unbox, but I wanna say this. Silver Grizzly, they're selling coffee. Coffee, looks like this, package, look at that. I mean, they're hilarious. Got that, the back, it's got these cool designs. Fresh brewed there. 
they send it to you right after brewing it so when you receive it it is like perfectly fresh i get it perfectly fresh all the time because it's just delicious this coffee makes starbucks taste like cheap coffee because it is but legit this stuff is so good order some online you can get it grounded to whatever you want i am not sponsored by them but i would not complain if i was I'll put a link in the description if anyone actually wants to order some of this. Highly recommended. I'm not even going to ask. Definitely order it. But if you're going to order some of this, um, also please support me. Because, I mean, this will support them, but it won't support me. I'm not sponsored. But, I don't know. I think I should be. I mean, they're in like every other video. Even when I'm out of town. Just everybody. Every time you see me drinking coffee, unless I'm broke, 95% chance. There's, there's a 90% chance that it's a Silver Grizzly. <laughs> If I